and we're gonna go for the freeze let's go big old freeze baby let's go oh okay we got three damn it's getting cold you guys feel that it's because your boy long Mian is in the house the frozen terror himself long Mian is a four-star esper and he is considered a controller and uh the reason why is because he has a lot of freezing abilities and speed down and he can also manipulate ap long Mian is a great four star addition to any team honestly uh first and foremost his captain ability is a increased ally speed by 20 percent which is the second highest percentage for speed increase in the entire game so 20 percent is actually very very nice this captain ability will help you contest those other speed leads out there I mean, if we see here his innate speed is 101 he's not the fastest but he's not the slowest either but it's decent speed so let's jump right into it his speed one thorn of frost attacks an enemy twice each dealing damage equal to 50 percent of attack and a 60 percent chance of inflicting speed down for two turns now if you do full billamons here you get a full uh, an 80 percent chance of uh, applying that speed down buff on the uh, enemy and this is nice trip damage it's not really much of a damage dealer but it's still nice because it does some chip damage and most importantly, it applies speed down, which is really, really important when it comes to the PVP or just in any content in the game, really. Um, speed down is great because it slows the opponent down from getting from point A to point B and it makes them a lot slower. Next, we got his skill two, Hour Frost. Deals damage equal to 75% of attack to all enemies with a 70% chance of reducing their AP by 30%. If the target is, a fit of, is affected with speed down, then this will reduce an extra 30% AP. So in total, it's a 60% AP decrease if they have speed down on him. So this works really well with his skill one. If you apply speed down on him, then you can go ahead and follow up with this. But let's say you don't have skill down on anyone and you still wanna drop, uh, push him back 30%. You can do that. It just won't be a 60%. It'll just go down to 30% and it hits all enemies. So it can push back the entire team's AP by 30% with no speed down and with speed down 60%. As you can see in this picture right here, they all have speed down. And when he goes, when he goes ahead and uses his skill too, it pushes them back even further than the regular amount. Now, if you fully ability him on this, this becomes an 80% chance to trigger this. And it's a four turn cooldown, but if you uh, bring it to a level five ability on, it becomes a three turn cooldown. And now for his ult, this, uh, this is a very devastating ult. It's called Cold Touch. Deals damage to all enemies equal to 110% of attack with an 100% chance of inflicting speed down for two turns and freeze for one turn. So it's just like what it says. He chucks a big old frozen spear at the, your, the whole entire enemy team and uh, has a 100% chance of decreasing their speed by two turns and freezing them for one turn. Now, I don't want you guys to get confused just because it says 100% doesn't mean it's a guaranteed 100% that they will get frozen. As you can, guys can see here, there was one person that was left unfrozen. And that's because everyone in this game has already innately built right here, as you can see, a 20% resist. So every unit in the game has this percent resist percentage built into them by 20%. So it'll never, ever be a 100% chance because they have this 20% natural and they resist instead of it being 100%, it's actually 80%, right? So it's still a very high chance on top of if the enemy has some more resist right so if that so if the enemy team built for more resist is more of a chance for them to resist it and become a lower chance of you freezing them but either way 80 percent is still really high up and uh for controllers you usually want to have them set um at their accuracy at 80 percent so they can uh max out um max out that 80 percent chance of trying to freeze the enemy okay now that we got the move set out the way uh what you want to run or what i run on long me on is i run the speed accuracy set um like i said you want 80 percent or try to get as close to 80 percent for accuracy because controllers really depend on you applying those debuffs and landing those ap manipulating pushback moves and that all depends on how high your accuracy is because you're gonna be battling with that innate 20% resist and on top of whatever resist the enemy has on top of them. So that is why I'm rocking the Apollo bow set, which gives me 25% more accuracy 
for the bottom right piece i'm rocking that for the main stat i'm gonna go for that speed then after this i'd give him the hp bonus and this gives me a sub stat with a plus eight speed and uh i have attack on him but this also gives me a sub stat of plus eight speed with some accuracy here so you want him the way you want to build long young you want to build them as fast as you can and you also want to build them with as much accuracy as you can and adding some attack is a little plus on the side but mainly you want to focus on accuracy and speed that is how i feel is the best way to build out long Mion and most controllers in general i also forgot to mention on his ultimate um it is a four turn cooldown and if you uh put it up all the way to the max you, it becomes a three turn cooldown for his ultimate one request i do wish lilith does is i hope they can uh change it to where we can actually choose which ability we want to feed, feed the abilamons to um i don't know it's just i feel like that would be better and uh, it's less random um because you know we already get such so little abilamons it'd be nice for, for us to choose where we can place our abilamons into right so it eliminates that random factor from there you guys already know the deal let's go ahead and do some point where baby but before we continue i'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel and help out your boy we're trying to reach to a thousand subscribers like the video if you like the video and also share this with someone who you think might like it Oh, I almost forgot. Also, press the notification bell button so you guys can be notified when I drop a new video every time. So, as you guys can see, I'm going with my classic cleave team, of course. So, we're going to use the Ice King himself as our captain to get to take advantage of that 20% uh, speed boost. The question always comes down to can we outspeed? Of course, we can. Let's go. Look at this gap right here. Oh my god. Now, look. Now, watch this push by Dahlia. Mm, push my team up. Honestly. Uh, we're gonna go for the cleave, so I kind of want to get this barrier off of them so we can try to burst them And that also pushes them back even more and now we got our boy long me on do your thing, baby Uh, okay, so we got two freezes and remember I told you it's not a hundred percent guarantee They have that 20% innately built into them plus whatever um, Resist they have built in also, but we got two people out um, on um, Frozen and stuff. So that's still really good for us So we're gonna go ahead and try to burst this Ling because if we take out this Ling, um, They're not gonna really do much to us. Ling did survive, but we got our oh damn. Okay. Oh Wow, I'm surprised he didn't ult there. Whatever. Boom. We took out the Ling a big stun here by uh, Prixker um invincibility on yeshua interesting so we're gonna go ahead and freeze this uh, sanders because he's really fast and he was next and we're gonna go ahead and try to stun these guys we stun yeshua and we're gonna try to stun the pritzker nope we didn't get that honestly we're gonna try to take out this uh we can take out um sanders with lucas we did and we're gonna go so notice they have speed down on them because your boy he didn't get the freeze on everyone but he did apply speed down and remember what i told you guys if he they do have speed down it's an extra 30 percent, so it's a 60 percent pushback so keep your eye on the ap bar down here and watch this oh that yishuan went flying oh my god and it's a 70 percent chance for that to happen right yeah we got it to trigger on one of them not on pritzker but it's okay we're, he's gonna get frozen now or not nah, damn he got a lot of resistance on this pritzker Gonna sh okay, let's try to uh-huh. There's that chip damage. I'm talking about we're gonna keep pushing back and we're gonna push ourselves up with Dahlia buff attacking crit and That's it nice. We just promoted to tier 10, baby This is the uh, this is the rank. I usually hover around so eh, whatever we'll take it The higher you do get the harder it gets. So yeah, okay So we blow these people out the water and speed again. So let's go ahead and push gonna go ahead and try to dispel these shields okay we got everyone and we pushed them back and we're gonna go for the freeze let's go big old freeze baby let's go oh uh, okay we got three and we got the most key person here which was uh this troublesome clara because she can actually dispel and push her team's ap up um now i'm really scared of this chloe so we're gonna go ahead and try to take her out Oh, we almost got her, but we should be able to clean up here. This Ling might destroy us, though. Oh, damn. My uh, Dahlia is super fast, so she lapped everyone, and she's, she came up. Oh, we didn't get the speed, though. Oh, okay. So, um, we're going to go try to try for the stun. Oh, we didn't get the stun. We're going to go for the pushback. Oh, they got resisted. Oh, no. Oof. Oh, 
Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's take her. Let's take that guy out. And uh, let's go ahead and take her out. And I think we got it. Woo. That was close. When you're running a cleave team, you, if you don't really win the game by like the first or second uh, t uh, turn, it's kind of GG, really. Especially if they have Clara to sustain, right? And put immunity. Okay, this might be tricky. Clara pushes. Their Dahlia pushes. I think it's GG for us. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so they have Clara as a lead here. So let's take advantage of our speed. But this is a bruiser team. They got Thor, Renzi, Yeshua, and Gabriel, and Clara. Oh my god. Let's see what, what happens. Okay, so we, uh, we're we super duper fast. And we're going to push. We're going to take off those shields. Probably should have saved that. We're going to go for a freeze. Oh, baby. We got a four-man freeze. And what we're gonna do here, who are we gonna try to burst down? Honestly, I don't like Clara, man. She's OP. We're gonna go for her. We're gonna do as much damage as we can to her. Uh, I forgot to switch out a piece of gear to make my uh, Lin Xiao faster so he can go for a supply defense down and then Chloe goes down and cleaves him, but whatever, it's fine. We still got a huge freeze so we can still win this. Mm, okay, we got some defense, one defense down and a few, oh, wow, so many speed downs. I believe that was uh, due to uh, this dude. Uh, you know what? Um, we're going to try to keep this guy frozen here, man. This guy is scary. Renzi, he's, he's pretty scary. Um, we're going to push back this Gabriel. Uh, next, we're going to try to push everybody back by 60%. Keep your eye on the AP bar in the bottom. Skoom. Oh, my God. Look at that pushback. And our team's super fast here. Oh, man. This Clara is starting to go. She has counter. We have to be very careful, man. We have to be very careful. Uh, well, let's try to stun this Gabriel. We don't. Um, I do want to push her back. Oh, she has immunity. Um, what we can do here, honestly, is try to go for the kill on the uh, Clara. Let's do it. Oh, we didn't get it, but we could definitely get it here. We don't have to commit to our uh, uppercut. Uh, but I do want to start damaging this store. This store can be a problem. But let's take out the Clara. She's the biggest problem. Okay. Um, next, we're going to start chipping down at this store. Um, he put his, his conductor buff up. So let's try to, if we mobilize him, conductor is gone and it's gone. We're good. She put immunity and defense up on everyone. That could spell a lot of trouble. But we're still going to go ahead and try to chip away at this. Everybody has immunity, so can't do much really. Just try to damage. Push everybody up here. And uh, let's extend our buffs and do... Uh, do some uh, random attacks here um, and we're gonna go for an uppercut oh and he's gone uh, nice 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 um next we're gonna start chipping down this Yeshua she I believe she's gonna go for the uh, invincibility next nice counter uh, we have our ult with long me on we're looking good we're looking good let's keep chipping them down um, you know what let's just go for our regular attack here save it for the freeze their immunity is about to fall off anyways Keep chipping, keep chipping away. Oh no, our long meal is down. Uh, we're fine though. We can try to freeze this. She's gonna put immunity on herself. We probably should have went for the kill on her. But you know what? We could take out the Gabriel with our Chloe. We're good. And um, uh, what we're gonna do here is try to apply. Uh, we're just gonna go for the attack here. Oh, he, oh my God, that attack. All right, we're gonna try to strip. We got the strips. Yo, this Renzi is scary, man. Oh my god, he's on counter too. Um, we're gonna push him back. Don't counter, thank god. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and try to strip this immunity on um, this invincibility on the Yeshua and try to take her out and do some damage to the Renzi. We got the invincibility and we got him on last stand. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna try to CC him. Perfect, he can't counter anymore. And uh, I believe that should be game push everybody up and let's go ahead and try to steal this with our s1 and it's gg chloe's amazing <laughs> chloe stole the spotlight but it's cool hey love y'all did his thing though as you guys know immunity is a hard counter to uh to controllers so you always want to have someone that can strip buffs luckily you get lucas if you bit, beat the infinite tower lucas is really good not as reliable on his uh dispelling uh on his dispelling 
as I want him to be. But if you feed him an Abilamon and get his uh, skill three and uh, bring up the uh, the chance of a, of doing the dispel, it's actually pretty, uh, a lot more consistent than what it is now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, subscribe if you like, and I will see you guys in the next one. It's your boy Jada. I'm out. Peace.